Proverbs 11 7 A Whale's Tale Proverbs 11 7 When a wicked person dies, his expectation will perish, and the hope of strong people perishes. Expectation almost has the same definition as faith. An expectation is a belief about what might happen in the future, as your expectation to stay close with your best friends your whole life. All human life has an expectation and most likely faith as well, like the expectation of finding a soulmate, having the perfect family life, or a successful career. The word expectation appears in Scripture eight times and the first time in the book of Job. Book of Job 41 9 Behold, your expectation is false, will you be hurled down even at the sight of him? The book of Job 41, is part of the conversation, the Lord is having with Job and his friends. God is saying he is like the mighty giant sea animal in the ocean the Leviathan, which is almost like a whale. Can a great whale, captured by a fish hook, can God be kept in the birdcage, like a pet for your kids? This Bible passage reminds me of the famous novel, Moby Dick about Captain Ahab who wants revenge and goes after a giant white sperm whale, that bit of a part of his leg. Going after the giant whale for revenge is an obsession for Captain Ahab, a passion that seems like has a lot of insanity with it. Moby Dick is told by the eyewitness accounts of Ishmael, a man who just wants to know what it's like to sail. Most of the sailors aboard the ship the Pequod, think they are going whaling, but Ahab has only one purpose kill Moby Dick. The Pequod was out to sea for a very long time extra longer than a normal whaling ship, so the ship and the sailor experienced many sea storms. Finally, Captain Ahab did not help the crew of his ship. With sailing the ship, he only stood on the deck and looking out over the ocean looking for Moby Dick. Moby is finally seen, causing giant white sperm whale is easy to see, especially by Captain Ahab. So Captain Ahab lowers a few boats to go harpoon Moby. The whale bites Ahab's boat and falls overboard. The next day Moby rams into another boat and leaves it in pieces and bodies floating all over the water. The crew is begging Ahab to forget the whale let's go home so we won't die. Ahab is like, hell no, I want Moby dead. The next day, when Moby is seen, sharks are in the area, they have been eating the dead sailors. Moby destroys two more ships, but Ahab finally stabs Moby with a harpoon, twice but Ahab gets tangled in line and stuck against Moby's body. Both Moby Dick and Ahab disappear, and only Ishmael is alive to tell the story. The wicked are like Ahab, and Moby Dick is like God, they want to attack the size and the strength of his wisdom, but they fall short and die, cause they can't kill their maker, no one can battle against God, and when anyone who tries will be ruined. God bless you all, the Lord Jesus loves you and so do I, Samuel J. H. Book of Job 41 8 Lay your hand on him, remember the battle, you will not do it again. 9 Behold, your expectation is false, will you be laid low even at the sight of him? 10 No one is so fierce that he dares to arouse him, who then is he that can stand before me? 11 Who has given to me that I should repay him? Whatever is under the whole heaven is mine.